Tonight, police in Fairfax County are searching for a French bulldog stolen from inside of a Springfield, Virginia home. Now, this new video from Fairfax County Police shows us more of what happened there. We talked to the dog's owner today who tells us someone broke into her home on Trolley Hills Court Monday and stole her dog, Queen. She believes she may know who was behind that crime as well. They didn't tell us directly, but said to someone else that they will be coming back to get the other dog or dogs. You know, this affects people Queen. psychologically and mentally. Sweetie. Last night, I was sitting down here in a chair um, after work. And I thought I heard, I thought I heard somebody coming through the back door. But it was really them just walking upstairs. They're going to rot in jail. They are. You will, you're going to feel what we feel. We've been feeling since Monday. You're going to feel everything that we felt. Yeah, dog nappings have hit nearly every corner of the DMV this week with at least two stolen dogs reported in D.C., one in Prince George's County and another in Northern Virginia. And tonight, D.C. News Now is investigating this trend and what's being done to stop it. Our Randy Bass joins us from the newsroom now. Randy, what have you learned about this trend today? Annalisa, it's something that has dog owners here in the DMV on very high alert as they head out tonight to walk their dogs. And sometimes there's not that much that police can do about it, telling some victims of these violent dog nappings that the best thing they can do is work towards solving these cases themselves. It's still disappointing because my detective specifically told me, like, that it's up to me and like social media to find my dog or like provide any support. So that wasn't any type of reassurance. Zelina Ahmed's dog Max was stolen at gunpoint in Northeast DC late last month. Attackers pistol whipped her before taking Westy her beloved Max Westy. She spent found. several days plastering posters all over her Fort Totten neighborhood, spreading the word on social media and finding footage of her own attack. She and Max were reunited thanks to the help of those photos and Good Samaritans who turned him into police. I'm completely disappointed in the way the police have handled this. I've never even heard back from them once I received Max. She's since moved back to New York where she says she feels more safe. D.C. police say right now these crimes are typically investigated as property offenses, either thefts or robberies, similar to if your purse or backpack was stolen. D.C. police tell us they also don't keep specific statistics for these kinds of offenses involving pets. We reached out to members of the D.C. Council about how these kinds of crimes are investigated and prosecuted and whether it's time to take another look at laws on the books. Councilmember Anita Bond says, I'm going to give it a lot of thought. It may make a lot of sense. I think we reached that point. Yeah, we also had a chance to catch up with members of the American Kennel Club. They say a lot of these robberies involve small dogs that are of high value, like French Bulldogs, like that robbery we saw just earlier this week in Northern Virginia. The AKC says they're stealing, likely stealing those dogs with the intent to breed them or resell them for more cash. In the newsroom, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now.